Good morning, everybody. I'm super excited for today and for this week and month. Um, this is going to be really fun. Um, I was really excited to get on today and just start talking with you and talking um, talking about our first challenge for the month um, for the Clean Living Challenge that I will be putting on with you through my business, Dandy Care Natural Products, and with the um, thanks to Mind, Body, Soul Healings. So I'm just going to get started. I'm going to give a little bit of background information um, as to why we're doing this um, challenge first and kind of a little bit more information with um, for its components and then um, I'll explain the challenge. So um, I don't want to take too much of your time up, but I think it's really important to kind of grow your awareness, like I said um, before in my introduction video of um, all of this month's um, challenge and all the different challenges we'll have. So um, this week is waste reduction. This is probably my favorite of all um, of all three, all four weeks that we will have of challenges. Um, and again, it does have something to do with your health and the environment. So keep that in mind. Um, it's, I just want to start by saying we're so fortunate to live where we are living today. Um, and I feel like sometimes we almost take advantage of that, where we go and buy an abundance of things that we might, might not need or um, things that are not reusable per se. So, um, and there's so, there's so many ways to reduce waste in, in our, and within our day-to-day -day lives, there's different things that we can do. And, um, so this is going to tie together with another one of my week, uh, month's challenges, um, waste diversion. So, um, we're going to start with waste reduction because I think it's really important to understand that first, because that's the first thing we want to do is reduce our waste. And then we'll go into waste reduction another one, another week. Um, so why do we care about reducing our waste? Well, mainly it's because we want to um, conserve our resources on this planet. So water, air, any minerals and, and metals that we extract for making different things that we have. And also to reduce or reduce the amount of landfills that we're making to conserve our landfills. Now, just a side note for some of you who might not know this, but landfills are, um, they're, they're good in the sense of, you know, getting rid of waste because they have a liner and they're government regulated. And to compare that with a dump, you might've heard people say, I'm going to bring this to the dump. Dumps are actually different. They're actually not regulated and they actually don't have a liner at the bottom. The liner is for um, preventing any leachate, which is actually just liquid. Or um, the waste itself that kind of mixes in with other stuff and then it just makes us liquid and we don't want that in our water. So landfills are good, but they're not because there is more air pollution and water pollution. So we want to reduce the amount of waste that we're putting into the landfill. The other thing is, what are we putting into the landfill? Nobody's going to go through the garbage and see what's in there. So we have to be really careful. Sometimes there could be, I don't know, um, aerosols and other chemicals that we don't want in our planet. So that's just a side note. Um, and so we want to reduce waste. So we, we reduce the amount of, of landfill use and to um, save our resources. Um, extracting different things like um, crude oil, which is petroleum for gas and diesel is um, just doing that itself is not really good for the environment. Um, extracting it and also using it. Um, there, there are a lot of different things I can go into and talk about, but I will keep it sh simple and short for today just because it's not really what we want to get into. But just to keep in mind that, um, you know, reducing waste, you could walk instead of drive your car kind of thing. So that's just where this comes in. Um, so yeah, we're going to tie this all together with the rest of the month, but today waste reduction is the thing. Um, so I want to kind of take you throughout your household to start. We'll just start small. We're going to go through our household, um, quickly and just kind of name off the different, um, some items that you could look into replacing or reducing, um, waste through. So we'll start in the bathroom. That one I find has the most things that you could, um, bathroom and the kitchen mainly. Um, they both have a lot of things that you can reduce your, um, environmental footprint. So, 
Um, I have a couple examples here with me today, just so you know, because I know some people are just not aware of what they have and what they could do to make a change. So um, I have some examples to show you. So I'll just kind of name a few things that you could change um, if you would like to and make a difference for the, the planet and your health as well. Um, and we'll just kind of go through my couple lists here that I have and then we will um, and then I'll introduce a challenge. So um, the first thing would be a to your toothbrushes. So toothbrushes are made of plastic. So going back to the resources, we extract petroleum and, or crude oil to make plastics. So we want to prevent that or minimize that. So um, I actually use bamboo toothbrushes usually. This is a new one, so I haven't opened it yet. So it comes in a paper or cardboard pack and a paper wrapping. Um, those are all compostable. So that's really good. And so bamboo toothbrushes, that's, I suggest that. Um, and then floss. So floss comes in a plastic container and it's usually plastic floss. So I use a floss pot. So it's actually And this is actually silk and it's biodegradable, safe for the environment and for your health. So that's just a couple examples. Also, I have deodorant. I use this routine. You can actually, there's a store in Regina near where I live where you can go and refill these. So that's really cool too. Um, and it's glass, so you're not using a lot of plastic. Um, what else do I have? So from the bathroom, there can be other things like your hair dye. That comes in a, pla a, a box usually, if you do it from home, a box with the plastic container where you dye your hair. I actually have used henna. It's actually just a bar and there might be a paper wrapping around it, but it's just a bar and you use that to dye your hair and it's, it works very well. Um, different skincare products too. So that's my business is based on um, helping the environment and your health, of course, um, through natural products. So Danny Care Natural Products, I make everything in... Um, glass containers so that you can either return them to me to reuse them or you can reuse them yourself and I'm not wasting all this plastic so this is an example of one of my jars it's all glass I make my own labels as well so very minimal printing and transporting stuff to my house so um, that's another example so look for skincare products that are you know you can refill them there are stores in Regina where I, near where I live here where you can take your jars and refill them um, once your things get empty, like the deodorant, for example. Um, and I'm sure around you, you'll have to do some research, but I'm sure around your regions, there are um, stores as well where you can go and refill jars, your jars, if you have glass jars. Um, so, and then, yeah, razors, lotions, so would kind of be skincare, um, your hand soaps. I use bars of soap instead of the, the plastic containers and same with shampoo. So again, the store that I go to, they have shampoo and conditioner. You can take the jars in and refill them. They come with pumps. Yes, they're plastic, but you just keep reusing them. Keep them clean and they won't degrade. There's also fem feminine hygiene products. Those two, you can get reusable ones. Um, and then um, just Kleenex. I, I don't, personally, I don't use handkerchiefs or, um, you know, just cloths or anything, and I probably should, but like I said, I, you start small and you kind of gradually um, just change your, what you use, um, just because you don't want to do everything at once. It'll be too overwhelming. So those are the few things in the bathroom. In the kitchen, there's a couple more, there's, there's lots of other things too. So the dish soap, again, you could probably find something with glass and you can refill with dish soap. Again, the store in Regina same thing they have that um straws and i'll just list everything and then it just gives you an idea of what you can replace ziploc bags tin foil uh coffee pods uh food when you go shopping so you can um, use reusable bags and when you go get your produce you can use bags like this if you really want to use a bag if you don't want to use a bag that's fine too i most of the time i don't even use a bag it just depends what kind of produce it is um so yeah, there's different, a whole bunch of different things. Um, food containers, I use glass. So my tip, my main tip is actually to go for glass first or ceramic. Um, and then if you can't, paper and then plastic and styrofoam last. So that would be mostly for like cutlery and plates and bowls and that kind of stuff for when you're camping or for events. So I find, yeah, there's a lot of ways through that. Paper is an easy way to um, the, it composts faster. It's easier to compost than plastic would. It takes way longer for plastic to break down. So I suggest using glass or ceramic first, paper, and then plastic glass. 
so and styrofoam is plastic it's just actually plastic, a bunch of smaller plastic particles with air it's actually mostly air so it's really cool but not <laughs> it's not that great um so yeah in the kitchen even your food um your food waste so that's another topic but that'll be next week your nutrition and, and food waste so um frying pans pots and pans that kind of thing um, there's, there are a whole bunch of different materials you can eat off of, out of, cook out of, and I will actually, one of my tips or facts for this week, I'll have a picture and I'll show you kind of pros and cons of all the different materials that you could have for your pots and pans. Um, for the laundry dryer sheets, I actually use these cotton balls. Um, you can use them up to, I think a thousand loads and, um, some of them, I think you can put essential, oil, even this one, I think you put essential oils in, so it actually smells like something just cause dryer sheets, you use one and then you throw them out and it's just more waste. Right? So I use these, you put, I think the pack was three and you just throw it in and you use it for, I think a thousand washes. So it lasts a long time and they're cotton. So it'll degrade faster than if you got those plastic balls like this, or if you use um, the dryer sheets too and there's less particulate matter which is just these fine particles in your air that you're breathing in so I use these and instead of the dryer sheets because they're very strong sometimes too um, I use a clothesline as much as I can in the summer and in the winter I would like to put the clothesline in the basement to dry the clothes so less dryer usage less um, power and energy and then just the soap dispensers again instead of plastic use glass and refill them and sponges and, and cloths are for cleaning. So you'd use either, um, yeah, I'd use cloths instead of paper towel. Paper towel is a big thing. We never really, we weren't buying paper towel for our house. I use um, just old towels and rags and they work fine too for cleaning. And, and then even for the bathtub actually, like loofahs, those are plastic. So you can actually buy sponges, like actual sponges from the ocean um, that they make into like a loofah and those are really good too. So if you really want that. Um, and then, yeah, just other miscellaneous things like pa printing paper, print on both sides if you need to print paper, um, and stuff like, um, what do we have? Oh, like pencils. If you're going to go buy pencils, try to buy the wooden ones because the plastic ones are plastic, right? And there are ways to dispose of pens and stuff. Um, but that'll be in the, the waste diversion week well, where I'll talk about that and how to, di um, just, um, dispose of those things. So in the end, um, I already mentioned the go for paper or glass first because it's easier to decompose. And also another suggestion is making your own thing. So grow your own garden. Um, if you're good at sewing, make your own clothes um, with, you know, materials that you might have lying around the house if you do. Um, skincare products, a lot of people make their own shampoo and soaps and stuff. And you can also, for your garden, you can dry have the dried up seeds from last year you can replant those and then you don't have to go to the store and buy the packs of seeds which you know you have paper um i think that's all i want to cover with um this i wanted to just kind of give you guys a little fact about um you might think okay well if i'm going to go and recycle and i'll talk about this more that week but if you want to go and recycle you would think that it would take more energy or some energy Energy, water and everything resources to recycle these products well it actually takes 20 times less energy to recycle um, remake aluminum like if you're gonna use like it's just an example aluminum if you want to remake that it takes 20 times less energy to just use the recycled material than if you were gonna go and extract it from the earth and make it through from raw materials so just a perspective on that um, and back to like Back to the landfills too. So even if you want to look into cost too, it, to close a landfill and to open a new one, it costs a lot of money, like $2 million a lot to close a landfill because you have to properly do that to help your environment and to do it safely and um, also just to help the environment and for your own, our own health as well. Um, and then also to reopen one. Well, there has to be surveying research done to where to place that and depending on the size of the city you know they need enough room so we don't want to take up all this room on our beautiful land so that's another food for thought um so this week our challenge is is going to be pretty fun i'm going to do a post on what what it actually is so you don't have to remember everything um and it'll be right there so i'll post it on monday or today and every monday i'll have a new video explaining the new thing and the new challenge so you'll pick three things in your life in your house or whatever three things you want to do that you want to change or replace and go and replace that so like if you want to so you can, all the things that i named um you can go and replace 
um, let's say you're flossy. So I challenge you to go to find a store, even online you can go. Really good store is Mortis and Tenon. That's in Regina. That's where I get my refillable deodorant, shampoos, conditioners. So pick three things in your life that you would like to change, anything in your household that you would like to change um, or replace or um, start doing to help the environment by reducing waste and your health as well. I find that a lot of these, re like when you go and buy things in glass, and they're all, a lot of them are organic, which is really good for our health, our skin care, our skin is our biggest organ. So whatever we put on, we want to make sure it's not full of chemicals. Um, again, that's a different topic for another week, but you want to go, um, you want to go and just kind of pick throughout your house, just three things for the full week. I give you a full week to just go and pick three things that you can go and or do to reduce waste. So you go. I guess buy this floss pot if you buy it, or a bamboo toothbrush. That's a start. I, uh, and also don't go too fast because uh, you might get overwhelmed. So there's a lot of things, especially if you're not aware, you weren't aware of all this in the beginning. You'll notice, you'll start noticing things and you'll say, oh, um, I could I could get a reusable option for this. So you can, you know, decide to walk instead of drive if it's possible. Um, and you could lots of different things bring your reusable grocery bags instead of getting the plastic ones bringing or buying or bringing produce bags or not even using produce bags or growing your own garden that's an, that's another thing you could do just different things like that um and, and so i'll make a post and i'll i'll put the explanation in there and then i'd like to i'd like you for for you to show me what you've done the three three things explain it to me um or, and show pictures of if you know if you've purchased the floss pot or something you know um, dryer balls anything like that and, and um, just your feelings on the experience it was it hard was it easy um, things it is getting easier these days to find um, reusable options for a lot of things so that's really great um, but yeah post your post your products of your or pictures of your new products and um, the, the positive impact that you've had that you've made and how you felt the experience was hard or easy and um, you, you might have to do some research for where you're living if you don't know where to find this kind of stuff you'll have to just kind of go online just see waste um, well like, I wouldn't google waste reduction but I would go and look it just pick something in your house and go and replace it if and then just see what they have online for reusable options that's what I would put um, and you don't have to do everything at once because I, like I said it's overwhelming and you're, and I, even I'm still discovering things almost on a daily basis of things that I can, ways I can reduce waste and things I can go and replace um, to reduce waste. So and do so I I can always do better and everybody can always do better. But at least this is growing your awareness and hopefully your friends and family and it'll just kind of spread that way. So yes, the first step is awareness. Um, and yeah, so I look forward to this week and seeing what you guys all have for. Um, experiences and and what you decide to do um, and and you can still invite friends and family if you think that they'd love this challenge um, thank you for watching and um, if you have any questions I'm around so have a great day and we'll talk soon